Good news, we've only got two um, new levels to tackle and then we can backtrack for gems. Oh my god, Crash is dead. Oh, never mind. Crash doesn't take full damage. And all the really hard levels we've already gotten the gem for, so... Wow. Wow, that's, that's really something. Oh, I thread that needle. That was a that was a good jump. That was a great... That's the only time I've ever actually shown my Crash prowess in this <laughs> entire Let's Play so far. And also, it could have just been done accidentally. I it even, definitely wasn't. Might have been a, a yeah, you're right. It was a complete accident. I didn't even mean to press the button there. Yeah. It just happened. I don't know how, how it got. Have you done that in a game? Huh? Have you done that in a game? What, where accidentally you... press buttons? No, where you, where you do something and you don't know and you're like, How do I do I that? I couldn't replicate that. I I don't know if I have that. But it looked good, so I'm going to say that it on purpose. I can't recall every gaming moment I've ever had. Well, no. So I can't tell you. I'm not asking you to do that. It, really, it sounds like that's what you wanted me to say. Uh, not really. I think you're just assuming a bunch of bullshit. Look at this. It's a 2D level, right? Yeah. But look! You gotta go to the camera! You what? You gotta go towards the camera in that section. It's 3D. Okay, because all I heard was... You gotta go to the camera! I didn't hear, I didn't hear anything. That's another thing. <laughs> he's invincible, but he still jumps when he touches something hot. Ow. Like, look. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> well, that's like the, uh, the metal cap. Like, you can't get a metal cap in any lava stage, but you still do the lava Ooh. jump in Mario 64, if you have the metal cap. Wee. You oh. go, Wee. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> well, then. I timed that very wrong. I timed that very yeah. not good. Super very not good. Super not very bad? Good? good? Not at all. So this level's a breeze. Speaking of breeze... There's no windows open in here. I want some cheese. That's not breeze. Yeah, it is breeze. Oh, yeah, brie cheese, I suppose. Yeah, thank you. I thought you were just going, because it rhymes, like... No, I was actually being clever. Bum. Ooh, gotta get those lives despite having 99 of them. I gotta get the boxes, dude. That's true. That's... Hey, okay, that was the only hard bit of the level. Hooray! <laughs> watch, watch dying to some dumb shit now. Yeah, I'm gonna. What's the thing that you can Spin. do where you can um, throw a Wumpa Fruit up in the air and then it falls on his head? That's just an idle animation. Yeah. I saw you do it before. Yeah, I did it earlier when I was, like, I think it was when I was getting the bats. You don't press any buttons, it just happens. Oh, so it's... It seems pretty rare. Yeah, it's an idle animation, yeah. A rare idle animation. You can make your own combination of idle animations. Okay. There we go. We did it. We're out there. Dunzo, Funzo, bring on the bunzo. Don't bring on the bunzo. I'm starting to go crazy. Unless those buns have hot dog on them. I mean, I, I could go for some hot dogs. Yeah. I haven't eaten in uh, <laughs> all day. three hours, at least. All day, even. I've eaten stuff today. I had nachos. I mean, I had a banana and some strawberries. Well, I think, I, by my estimate, we've got less than an hour to go. Hooray! And that's not even from looking at the timer and seeing I've got stuff. I've still got four. I've, I've still got to come in under that four-hour threshold. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just realistically thinking I've got like two bosses, one original level, and then a bunch of easy gem backtracks. Like this isn't gonna take very long at all. Mm. Brio. Look Nit at that guy. Nitrous broxide. Nitrous brios. Bree. He he wants some breeze as well. He does. That, that's his backstory. He, <laughs> he really he, jo he joins Cortex because he wants cheese. Yeah, and he wants to afford the finest cheese. Cheese, Gromit! The finest cheese in all the land. Boing. This pork belly piece of shit. What? What's that from? It's another Auntie Duna. Oh. Uh, well I have bought the finest ingredients. Man, I can't believe I keep dying to crash one bosses. This is this is this is a low point for me. Like dying on slippery climb and toxic waste, that's like I understand that. But like dying on Brio uh. and Ripperoo, that's unacceptable. I Wait, how does jumping on his goo hurt him? Um Because that's his that's his life force? For sure. Today I have bought the finest ingredient in all it's, of the It's because he's using up his stock. He's like, okay, that's it, I'm gonna die now. <laughs> 
Get him. That's one. Dash two. Okay, that was easier. That was the one cycle. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. And he oh, kills himself. <laughs> and now he turned into the big boy. He turns into the Hulk, baby. Wow, a green character that transforms. Wow. Crash Bandicoot ripped off the Hulk. I can't believe it. There and he, he dead. Yeehaw! He's out of there. Alrighty. Alrighty, oh. We're very close to the end now. The lab, baby. Can you do sub 3.30? Ah, oh, probably not. There's a lot of backtracking. Mm. I've got to do the, I've still got to do the, um, the unlocked levels from the keys as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sub- I'm not sub 30. <laughs> not sub 330? Talk to me about sub 345, but not sub 330. Well, the goal at least is sub 4 sub hours. Sub 4. I believe that's doable. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no. It's tint. Tint, yeah. They in the Japanese version they replaced the latest TNT with just a bomb icon. Oh okay. Probably could put in the Japanese kanji would be a bit tricky. Yeah, like for, short amount for, of space. For nitro crates in the future they still put the kanji there. Oh okay. I don't know if it's just a letter N or not. <laughs> it's just no. No. Do not jump. Alright, let me see if I can do this. Damn it, I can't. Oh, never mind, it's fine. <laughs> I can't do it. Can't do it, Eddie. There's, bo there's a box up at the very top, so you gotta so you gotta jump off the that bouncy crate onto the bouncy crate on top of it, and then jump up to get the crates. Mm. It's very difficult, and in insane, it's mandatory. <laughs> mandatory. Repeat. It's it's mandatory. Un it's unavoidable. Anything Mr. Potter. Any, <laughs> any single time someone says the word mandatory, I just remember that clip from The Simpsons. Say what? Mandatory. It's mandatory. Repeat. Mandatory. That is all. The Simpsons? Yeah. What episode like, is that? I forget exactly what it was, but it was something to do with, like, it was, like, Bart and Homer going to, like, his work for, like, a father oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have, like, a foot race or something, like a, like a, something like that. And it's like, this race is mandatory. Repeat. Mandatory. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, um, no, it's, it's a new clip. It's Family Day, the new clip power plant. Yeah. And the fam it's like, that's like season one. Yeah. I just remember. It's I just, a sack race. That's what it is. Yes. And any single time someone says the words mandatory, I just think of that. Mandatory. Oh, that's a very specific thing. Yeah. I don't know why. Mandatory. Repeat. Mandatory. That is all. Crack that whip. Like you're playing at some old, some like really obscure Simpsons. Ah! Yeah, some. I'm, I'm, I'm all about the obscure Simpsons reference. Like you're not going for the classic steamed hams or. Yeah. I can probably recite steamed hams from memory. I mean, who, who can't? Yeah, at this point. All right. <laughs> We're gonna do it while we play the lab. Then we're just gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. Who you wanna be? Um, I can probably do. Okay, uh, can you do a better Seymour than I can? I don't know which one I can do a better version of. I think I can do a better com uh, Commander Chalmers. <laughs> Commander Chalmers. <laughs> superintendent, I think. You can better you can do a better superintendent? I think. I think. Well no no point in giving it a trial before we begin. Let's just guess. Uh okay. That was more sarcasm. <laughs> well, Seymour, I made it, despite your directions. Oh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, he gods! My roast is ruined! Hmm, but what if I were to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cooking? Ho ho ho! Delightfully devilish, Seymour! Ah! Dan -dan -dan. Skinner with his crazy explanations. The superintendent's gonna need his medication. When he hears Skinner's lame exaggerations, there'll be trouble in town tonight. Seymour! The superintendent, I was just. Uh, yeah, stretching my calves on the windowsill. Isometric exercise. Care to join me? Why is there smoke coming out of your oven, Seymour? Uh, oh, that isn't smoke. It's steam. Steam from the steamed clams we'll be having. Mmm, steamed clam. Goes out the door. Ooh. Dun 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 dun
I thought you said we'd be having steamed clams. No, no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. You call hamburgers steamed hams? Yes, it's a regional dialect. Uh huh. Uh, what region? No, upstate New York. Really? Well, I'm from Utica, and I've never heard anyone use a phrase steamed hams. Oh, not in Utica, no. It's uh, an Albany expression. I see. <laughs> You know, these hamburgers are quite similar to the ones that have a trusty burger. No, oh, 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 no. Banded Skinner Burgers, old family recipe. For steamed hams. Yes. And you call them steamed hams, despite the fact that they are obviously grilled. It... You know, one thing I sh... Excuse me a moment. Of course. Oh, well, the great hands have my all. I'm pooped. Yes, I should be. Good lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis. At... Aurora Borealis, <laughs> at this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? No. Seymour, the house is on fire! No, mother, it's just the northern lights. Well, Seymour, you are an odd fellow, but I must say, you steam a good ham. Help! Help! Thumbs up. That is a good impression. I somehow got that gem while we were doing that. <laughs> Not even focus I was focusing more on the Skinner dialogue and I got the gem. See, you just went on autopilot. Yeah. That's the trick. That, that's how the muscle memory yeah, comes old back. Yeah, old muscle memory just kicked in. Alright, so now we're doing Fumbling in the Dark, which is one of the secret levels, and it's one of the hard ones. It's on the hard side. It's on the more difficult end of the spectrum. Yeah. The st <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I was, I was confident you weren't going to make certain that. Certain I hadn't made that. Yeah, you know when we were doing that sketch, I was just trying to. Rem I was I was like panicking, trying to remember exactly how over a went. Oh yeah, yeah. Like just being like, okay, I need to make. I sure know I there were some right. sections we got a little word, uh, like not word perfect on. I th you, I think you were supposed to say, oh, that was wonderful. Good time was had by all. That's I'm what pooped. it was. Yeah. Yeah, I just went with it because I wasn't going to be like, I did that wrong. Um, actually, I think you'll find. Oh, that was wonderful. Good time was had by all. I'm pooped. I would say we got 90% accurate. I I I stretched to 95. Yeah, I'm saying at least 90% accurate. So we're both correct. Yeah, technically we're we're both correct. Yes. Jump, jump bit. Oh boy. Ah yeah, damn it! There's no way. Yeah, I I, I flew too <laughs> close to the sun on that one. Careful, Icarus. Careful, you'll fly too to careful, you'll go the way of the dodo bird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if we know what a dodo bird is in our time. But... Um, they were still alive in the time of the ancient Greeks. Whether or not they knew about them yeah. on their on their South African, oh no. uh, it was in the south of Africa. Like it wasn't a part of South Africa, but it was somewhere. They're on a, they're on an island on the coast of Africa. <laughs> So South Africa is what you're saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Man, it might, I really gotta stop talking. Yes. Like once we get to the end of this like recording session, I'm gonna stop talking for the rest of the day. I can feel my voice draining as we speak. You need Especially get, as I speak. You need to get some soothing lozenges. A trick to that system. <laughs> huh, I can jump on the scenery. Checkmate, naughty dog. <laughs> you didn't think this through, you did didn't, you? You didn't think about that, did you? It's not like you designed it like that. I've I've lamed out the system. Oh, Crash Bandicoot, so spooky! He's and so then, scary. And then rats come out this of is the darkness. Best game. And then the Wario apparition shows up and says, "You think you're no fun? Wario will show you fun." And that's that's really ominous. Yeah. What's that from? It's a recent meme slash creepypasta ah. where there was an old, old uh, video of Wario in the Super Mario 64, but it was from a presentation for the game. Ah. And it showed up in front of the Dire Dire Docks right. thing, and Wario's head shows up floating, and Charles Martinet is like, You'll think you're no fun, Wario will show you fun. Damn it. And it led to a sort of um, situation where people thought that Wario was in the game. Ah. Because they vague, had vague memories of seeing that. Well, it's only recently come out that apparently Luigi was planned for Mario 64 the whole time. Well, yeah. They were originally going to add him in, but then they couldn't figure out how to have the camera work with multiplayer, so they scrapped it. Ah. Uh, um, uh, from what I've seen, Luigi just looks like Mario, but green. 
Yeah, he, of course. He he's, he isn't like tall or, or like skinny or anything. He's just he hasn't got like, any of his new affectations that yeah. added to him since the original Mario Brothers. He just looks like green Mario. So he looks like ill Mario. Il Mario. Mario, but a little under the weather. Yeah. But yeah, the Nintendo League was... They've, they've had a bunch of Nintendo Leagues. Yeah. Back to back. It's pretty cool. Lots of interesting. I haven't like I haven't delved into them too much. No, like, I I never want to like do that. Basically, why not? Oh, because sometimes those leaks turn out to be incorrect, and then people get their hopes up for nothing. Like well, before the recent Nintendo Direct, there, there were a lot of leaks that were like, "Oh, 3D Mario remakes F Zero." They got they got announced on Twitter, and then it, yeah, but nothing... that was just an example of Nintendo fans trolling it themselves. No, I think those because they because um... Nintendo were made sure to like set expectations, saying it's going to be a small direct. Yep. Um, but then people got themselves hyped because of fake stuff, and they got angry at Nintendo for doing exactly what they said they, what were, they, gonna said they were gonna do. They didn't lie at any point, but like... Um, wait, you guys you guys didn't have F-Zero or like new 3D Mario? What's wrong? You guys suck. We just said No news be... about Zelda 2. Guys, it's, it's a developer direct. There's not gonna be anything first party from Nintendo there. We've made that very clear up front. We called it a mini. Boo. We called it a mini for a reason. It's a mini, and we made clear on Twitter that it's going to be... And then people got really fucking pissed at the Bakugan game that Way Forward was making. Oh, oh boy. Wow, that looked like a janky jump. Yeah, especially because I lost my blast while doing it. Like, I, how, how the hell did I survive that? I don't know. But yeah, like, they were like, oh, by the way, Way Forward, they're going to be making, they're going to be announcing a new game at this thing. And people were like, oh, Shantae, or Damn something. Because they, they have a bunch of good um, properties. Of course it was hands. Shantae that people got too excited about. Yeah. God damn it. I thought maybe, oh, a new Shantae game? Sometimes I hate being a Nintendo fan. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I can understand that. But then they were like, they clarified it with a tweet saying, oh, by the way, the new WayForward game is going to be based on a licensed property. Ah. Uh -huh. Like, it's not going to be anything, it's not going to be an original thing, like an original property that WayForward owns, like Shantae. But people don't didn't, read. Didn't listen. Didn't, didn't read, didn't listen, and then they got hyped for a, a Shantae game that wasn't coming. Uh, and then they just downvoted the Bakugan game to hell and back. <laughs> Did it again, Naughty Dog. You're slipping. <laughs> you made that mistake one too many times. Your level design is whack. But whack in my I favor. did it twice in the one life. You just did it again. I did it again. You just did it again. Jeez, no, jeez, no, you jerk. <laughs> what were this game design is thinking? How dare they? Oh, it's, it's like, because you know why the f Zero thing as well? Is, um, it's because they were obviously fake Twitter accounts. I were, thought I heard that they were actually like confirmed to be like directly connected to Nintendo after all that. No, they were they were they they since proven to be fake. Oh, okay. Because there was a tw the one tweet that one that the F Zero JP account put out was like basically porn, ah. and it was done as like a way to troll Nintendo fans and basically be like. You guys just buy this shit. See, I took I heard, the last I'd heard that those t those accounts were confirmed to be like real, but like they just went for this direct. So I've taken that to mean like there's a proper direct coming with this information. Just calm down. But well, those I, those Twitter accounts have least have been confirmed to not be legit. All right, I could I could go for a new F Zero game. We haven't had one in a while. A long time. And we were like, what was the last one? Was it the one for GBA? Yeah, it was GBA. It was GX. Yeah. Oh no, that was GameCube, wasn't it? Ah. <sighs> It was yeah, an yeah. F-Zero game for GBA. It, I, I don't know which Japan one was, I only. think the GameCube one was the most previous one. The most recent, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was GX. And there was, there was a really cool arcade version of that called AX. Ah, yeah. Um, if, there, there's like, if there's one arcade game I could own, it would either be like, like Crazy Taxi or AX. Or, or Tetris the Grandmaster. Um... Like, that's one situation where I do really want to play on original hardware, is like, arcade old, old arcade games. Because like, it's just the, it's just like the, the, the paraphernalia they have around the machine, and like, the, 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 the feeling. The of, feel of the joystick yeah, in your hand. That, and just like, the atmosphere of the arcade. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Room. Space. Arcades are... A dying thing. breed. Not here in Australia, at least. There is no fucking arcade anywhere in Australia. There's there's something that's similar to an arcade in, like, War or Wong. There's, like, the one in under the, cin yeah. Beneath the cinema. Yeah, like, we've been there a lot, my but, but that's, and I. That's mainly sideshow stuff, though. It's not, yeah, like, it's, arcade games. It's, it's, it's what you would call, um, um, redemption games. Mm. Whereas it's more about winning tokens and keys. When I think of arcade, I mean, like, video arcade. Like, video games. Not, like, not like just slot machines and, like, um, Damn it. 
and the, the, the stacker game. All right, can I do this? I can do this. Wow. Wow, it's so dark game designers. What were they thinking? I can't see anything. I can't see anything. This is a bunch I of I need to adjust my cataracts. Oh no, wait, that's just a game. <laughs> what were they thinking? Absolute garbage. This game is a bunch of doo doo bullshit. <laughs> This game is a bunch of poopy ass drippings covered in feces. Now we're just making references. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now we're just making references. No, shut up. All of the rest of it was original material. I don't know what you're talking about. Bum, bum. Oh, I, I made it. I can't believe I, I, wow. I, I legitimately thought I got hit there. You almost killed yourself for not dying. <laughs> yeah. Man, that that's some self-hatred. <laughs> that's some real gamer moments right there. Because we are all depressed. Yeah, it's true. Don't you know? Alright. Alright. Yeah. Yeet. Yeet. Oh. Got it. He did it. That was one of my most hated levels as a kid. Mm. I hated fumbling in the dark. Because I was fumbling in the dark the whole time. Jeez, game designers. Get with it. Get with it, game designers. You guys don't know anything we got, about us. We, we gotta stop. <laughs> Never. Oh. All right. Oh. Thirty out of thirty-two levels. We saving. Boop, 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 boop. Eat the poop. <laughs> you're fucking complaining about making the fucking AVGN references, and you're going boop, boop, eat the poop. At least that's original content. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why it's original content because it's fucking garbage. Look, I'm just saying, referential comedy is always worse than just saying anything. Uh, what about what about saying women are not worthy of respect? No, because that's not that's not that's that's taken from other racists and sexists. Like that's. Not what do you a, mean other? Are you that's, implying that, that I am? That's not an original thought, and yes. <laughs> There's no such thing as true originality, in all fairness. Yeah. Ideas are always inspired by other things. Man. Like, even if you just say complete nonsense, that nonsense was inspired by something. Just, just like, the random feedback of anything you picked up on as a kid. In, like, in... Or even just, like, what's around you, right, in, at that moment. Like, if I was to make up a bunch of random gibberish by just saying, Uh, rats and bandicoots and stuff. <laughs> but... <laughs> That's not random gibberish. My That's worse than you know. and... and Hoobada doobada dee. See, that's not even random because you always have the words hoobada doobada dee tattooed on your thigh. Yeah, that's. Hey, that's that's a family secret. Timothy Cuff Smear Campaign 2020. <laughs> hey, that's my full name. Don't say the bad words. Oh, look, he's such a narcissist. How's anyone gonna see that? <laughs> he is. He's gonna know it's there. I was at the design of Cortez's Castle. Like, how's he gonna get around anyway? There's holes in the floor. Why is he designed in such a way where Crash Jeez, can get to him? what were these castle designers thinking? <laughs> the architecture is absolutely lame. Oh, actually, something I was going to point out. Um, so there's just like a random ruins level on this third island, whereas the rest of it is like, um, uh, it's all industrial. Mm. So uh, initially as a kid, I was like, what's this level doing here? That doesn't make any sense. But, and here's the big thing. Mm. If you look at the, um... <laughs> ooh, if you look at the, um, the placement of the level on the world map... Yeah. It's actually pretty decent world building. Oh, yeah. And I'll, I'll, briefly, I'll briefly show you now before we move back to to uh, Cortex Power. If you wonder why we went Uber for, but we, I just checked on the file size of this video and it's about 12 gigs. 12 gig? Yeah. Yikes. So, yeah, th this is the ruins level. It's right underneath the base of this castle. So, he built his castle on ancient ruins, which is oh. like another factor in like how evil he is. He built his castle on ancient ruins. He has no ground. regard for. The wildlife or the 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 native the native owners of this land. We would like to gather today to pay our respects to the original owners of the land. The story is an age-old ceremony. The storytelling, music, dance, celebration, and renewal. Oh, uh, you're, you're just straight up doing the high school pledge that we did, as opposed to like any bog standard Australian paying respect to the Aboriginal owners of the land. Yeah. Thing. Well, they're all pretty similar oh. in how they're structured. Yeah, I mean, where's the originality? God damn it. <laughs> so unoriginal. Like, why don't, why don't you make your own land to live on, white settlers? <laughs> Jeez, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? This invasion's about to do to ass, buddy. <laughs> Covered in colonialism. I mean, hang on. Get that. Yay, 97. I've lost percentage since. 
I have somehow, I've somehow lost progress in the game if we're going by the life counter as a percentage. Every but single time you die, you lose percentage. It's a good thing I saved these faces for a reason. It's a good thing I, I'm going to I'm oh, gonna I save thought, these 99 missed, bandicoots. I thought I missed that jump for a minute. <laughs> and not missed that jump in terms of, oh, I mean, I, I missed the glory days of that jump. <laughs> I missed that jump. What a wonderful jump. Remember the was. old times we had with that jump? Remember the times where you could make jokes about gems and no one would get offended? No, those were the good days. Those were the good old days. For the gems it wasn't, but for us it was great. <laughs> for us it was a good And I'm time. not going to acknowledge that it was bad for those people. Okay, so should I risk it? Should I go for it? I'm going for it. That was a that mistake. Was a mistake. <laughs> time to reset. Jeez, Alexander, what, what were, were you Jay thinking? thinking? <laughs> Right, no more of that, please. <laughs> you're, gonna make, you're gonna have to make a separate counter for like AVG references. I will references. not. No, that's not happening. <laughs> My only hope is that when we do the future games, we don't just stick with these exact same references. Otherwise, this marathon is gonna get very stale very quickly. Yeah, okay. We'll make a pledge. Yeah, any references that we do in this video, we won't repeat. <laughs> Starting from now. No, no, we, we can keep doing them for this video. But oh, like, yeah. In future videos, we just have to do new references. Yeah, and not be original. Yeah, no, never, never be original. If I wanted to be original, I wouldn't be playing a game on the internet. Yeah, you wouldn't be making a Let's Play. Yeah, I'd be making a You Play. <laughs> you, just, you just step out of the screen and go, You Play, You what? Play. You Play the game, I give him the controller. Yeah, You Play the game. It's like but, Twitch plays Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. But the video doesn't actually progress until you start actually moving. Yeah. Like, it's an actual, like you actually play the game. Hey, give me. It's hey. like, but hang on, this is just a video. Or is it? Like, like even the time, the time bar at the bottom of the video doesn't even progress. Yeah, it just stays. It just fluctuates between like the idle animation seconds, basically. Dang it! Wow. I just said none of the other levels are going to be hard to replay. Mm. I've only got thirty-two minutes to beat the game. Yeah, thirty-two minutes. Uh, otherwise, I've got to get like eight or nine gems. Thirty-two minutes or another four hours. Yeah, those are the only two options. Yeah. Strap in. We're going to be here for a while. Can't wait to make so many more AVGN references in the next five and a bit of hours. Oh, I'm gonna die. In, oh. in good time. Yeah. You have 99 bandicoots to murder. It comes to us all in the end. <laughs> this too shall pass. Like tears in the rain. Like fingerprints on an abandoned handrail. See, I was going for Blade Runner. You just did what I lied to you, Bob Mortimer. Yeah, of course I would. Bob Mortimer is a national treasure. Well, yes, naturally. But like when I'm when I, when you do juxtapose the blade, the super like po the, the um the Blade Runner quote that's like full of like um like it's super poignant and poetic, and then Bob Mortimer's fingerprints on are a handrail. Are you saying fingerprints on a handrail isn't poignant and poetic? It is in its own way. Yeah, thank you. But like, compare juxtaposing the two right together, it's like it does both a disservice. <laughs> yeah, I like I like to imagine that like that character from Blade Runner saying that, and then Bob Mortimer is in the scene. He's trying to relate to him. He's like, stole like, that from me. No, no, not even that. He's like, he's like trying to relate to the character. He's like, he's like, oh, I like fingerprints on the abandoned handrail. And then the Blade Runner guy's like, oh no, that's better. That's, just, <laughs> that's, that's way better. That's better. No, I mean, I was just saying that was You're my the word version. Smith. You should be writing this, like, seminal movie that will define cyberpunk as we move- as it progresses. Like pick and pull and that's a dusty old- Not cyberpunk, chip. steampunk. In what way? Sorry, what are you saying? Isn't Blade Runner, like, the, like- No, it's more cyberpunk, I'd say. Oh, okay, well- that Like, was... steampunk is more, like, Victorian mixed with right modern technology. Time. Yeah, you, you goofed yourself. I, I second-guessed myself, because I'm- I'm so used to doing that. Yeah. I've never once been good at anything, so I, That's I not naturally, true. I naturally like second guess myself when I do say, still say anything. You're good being my brother. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Ah, uh, you've got a good point, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. All right, ask my name. I can't even see the, the box tallies to see if I hit that or not. If I hit that, <laughs> and I did it, so it's a good thing I went back. Otherwise, I would have said you missed one box. I missed one box. I have to go through all this hairy nonsense again. Harry. Yeah, he crushes Harry. Harry McCleary. From Donaldson's Dairy Farm. Dairy Farm. For little pups. For little pups. For little pups. And now we got another box bridge. Here we go. Harry McCleary is also a pretty niche reference. Not if you're an Australian. Oh, um, even then. I'm not sure about that. Oh, uh, people know Harry McCleary. Yeah, probably not as much as we think, though. Like, it's not widespread today, but if you're a 90s kid. Well, I wasn't a 90s kid. You might as well have been. 
Bum, 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 bum. Two, All right, three, so we've got four. six more gems to get. No. Eight. Ugh. Eight gems left. Eight more gems. 90%. All right. We're nine-tenths of the way through this game. Uh -huh.